Happiness through curiosity on the Ranveer Show. Welcome to TRS Clips. You said something about using the power of social media. I yeah. feel people who can actually utilize social media well are people who have a story. And uh, I, I mean, I've been waiting to speak to you about this. Yeah. Uh, it's what happened to you in 2018. Uh, it's the whole experience with cancer. And I'm sure you get asked yeah. a lot about this in interviews yeah. and all that. But I also feel um, that somewhere maybe... Maybe, and I'm sorry if this might offend you in any way, maybe it happened to you so that your purpose becomes spreading a positive message. Oh my God, but you, I, I don't think that offends me at all. I, I don't mean to talk about... I a, think it's so true because, you know, everything happens for a reason. But having said that, I would say social media for me, I started, I got onto it much before my uh, cancer diagnosis. I started the book club much before that. So I started using it in a different way uh, earlier. Uh, but... Thank God I was on the uh, that I was on the social media when this diagnosis came. I was uh, shooting for a show. I was in right in the middle of a talent show, and definitely. So you know how talent shows go. Every week you're shooting, and every week a new episode is coming out. So suddenly, if you disappear, I mean there would be a lot of gossip about it. There would be speculation about it, and I just didn't want gossip and speculation around why I was not there. So it, the idea was to kind of put it out in my words as to what was I going through and how was. I going to deal with it. What, what were you going through? Like when, like, were you in pain? Like, how did you even figure that this is happening? What I can say is that it was a shock. It was definitely not something uh, that one expected. I mean, I got up thinking that it was a dream and what a bad dream and it's going to be okay to realize it was not a dream. So you're going through all of that. And literally by the fourth day from the time I came to know I was already out of the country. And there was this whole my life left behind. It always kind of triggers this off a little bit. Sorry about that. No, that's But fine. yeah, you just left a whole life behind you in four days you were gone. So it does give you a perspective. And I think it gives you a lot of clarity. So I think that's exactly what happened to me. So when you said that it's not offensive at all, because what you said is so true. Because going through something like this gives you clarity. It gives you... Uh, so what are we giving if I've got a second chance what have I been given the second chance for and it's it's very lovely to say oh my god I've got a second chance I'm going to change the world but you've also gone through something where you realize I don't think I can change the world and so for me to understand the fact that I might not be able to change the world and I don't think it is possible for any one person to do that what I have understood from this is that I need to do what I can in the world that's around me, even if it is two people. And let me just focus on that. So I'm no longer, you know, or for that, I, I, I'm no longer feeling bad that I can't go out there and, you know, say, hey, this is, you need to do this. This is so wrong. No, I don't want to shout about it. I want to be, I just want to whisper to people around me. There's one or two who can hear the whisper because that's what is going to make the change. And that's what is in my hand. Because I'm a speck. I understand I am the speck in this universe. A speck can do a speck full of work and that's all I want to do. Huh. So that's what I have understood. So it's not some earth shattering thing at all. It's something as simple as that. You're, you're like a really incredibly strong lady. And uh, that's what I sense from you. Like right from the time I met you outside, like there's just a lot of strength in you and not related to your cancer, I think in your personality. Um, I do have to ask you though, um, when you're, when you're going through it hmm. and I'm asking you this because you hear a lot of narratives about having cancer, but I, hmm. I think the only people who have the truest narratives are the ones who've gone through it themselves. Is it a lot of uh, mental toughness that it takes to get yourself out of there? Is like, is it all in the mind? Are you supposed to visualize healing? Are you supposed to think of healing? Like, how do you pick yourself up from your lowest point? I think rather than... It sounds very strange, but uh, survival, I fought it. Toughness. You know, these are the terms that you normally use with, uh, with you know, diseases or surviving something... It, I think for me, as I look back now, I, rather than these strong, um, tough words, I would say acceptance is the right word for me. The day I accepted the fact that, yes, this was happening to me, this was the reality of my life now, and then I could find a way to move on. 
but till you keep fighting something and till you don't accept it you're never going to be able to move on and i think that applies i went through cancer in 2018 but look at what we've gone through in the last 2 years what i went through the whole world the whole planet has gone through that there is not a single person here who has not gone through something like what i have gone through so i think uh, maybe to before covid we could have spoken about me having gone through something and there were some people who have gone through it but i think after covid you me everybody has gone through this and we all have to just accept the reason i'm asking you so much about cancer and i'll give you the honest content creator narrative yeah. if we just bring on a regular cancer survivor it may not even get hits and if you bring on someone like yourself who's had a famous life hmm. people suddenly listen i agree with and, you on that and sometimes i ask a lot of actors on the show about what they think the purpose of their life is because every profession has some purpose associated yeah. with it and i ask the same question to sports people sports yeah. people often say inspiration hmm. actors also say something similar that hmm. it inspires people but i feel but but your life specifically where i mean maybe maybe this had happened to you to highlight yeah. Yeah. the journey at so high level so i i agree with you totally when you say that uh, you know uh, because when i when i put the uh, uh, you know the tweet and on social media when i put the message out i thought that was it i'm going to put this out message out shut it down he'll get ready see what is happening go through this journey uh what happened was that we had literally like a tsunami of messages that came back and the the the, the clear thread through these messages was of a uh, immense amount of people who had gone through this and you know what hit me was the fact that you think you know the world and you know you know general knowledge and you know what society is going through i had no idea that so many people go through cancer i had i who am exposed to the world is educated thought that oh it happens to some people sabko nahi hota and i realized that it's not so rare it has happened to so many people so why was it not spoken about and i realized that it was just never spoken about and we had so many people writing in saying how they haven't shared it with their families or with their mothers or with you know and how they were spending that time alone and here i was sitting there my family next to me my friends all coming up for me and i said oh my god look at what they're losing out when you don't share it you're losing out on all the love that you're going to get yeah. and that's when we decided that you know we'll talk about this journey and i didn't want to talk about it in oh how sad it is of course it is you don't have to say that but you know what there is more to it than just being sad and ill and i'm not going to lie about how tough it is but i'm not going to be i don't want sympathy for it and mm. i do not want pity for it it's so negative and it's so non constructive you know you mm. just doesn't there's nothing you can build from that so i just wanted to tell the truth about what it was in a normal way without being whiny about it because that's not me and i don't want, i don't think that's the way to deal with it also so uh, that's how the journey of me starting to talk about it started and i remember while i was there goldie sent me um this uh, uh picture of a headline from a newspaper and it was i think it was one of the financial or economic kind of uh, mm. uh, papers you know in which the headline was that how the testing rate in india for cancer you know the markers that you test for cancer marker had gone up since i started speaking about it and he sent me that picture and he said that babe this is what it is and you know you need to speak because this is the change yeah. and you know we need to talk about this so don't feel that oh my god you know because there are times i'll be very honest with you because there are times from the line that i am in there were people who did ask me that oh what is the mileage you're getting out of it and so there would be times when i we would we have had this conversation when i would say that you know goldie it's going to look like i'm am i it does it look like i'm selling this what is happening and uh, you know that when he sent that and he said you know just stop that thought don't think about it there is always going to be somebody who's going to find uh, the way mm. you deal with it in in a different way and that's their point of view you know why you are doing it and just keep doing what you're doing because it makes a difference mm. and that's what it is it is something as simple as that and uh, yeah from there if you see i i don't think um, that's what it is i think that matters that what you said when you have a celebrity as it is 
like as people like to say though i don't think that's a very good term to describe anybody but yeah if that's what it is and if my voice can be heard because i am a known person then this is definitely something this is a narrative i would want to talk about um i heard you say in a conversation with someone that there's parts of you that it also takes away does like a situation like that feel like an internal kind of purge also yeah for uh, other than the fact that quite actually and physically parts of my organs have been taken out yes <laughs> it feels like i've uh, you know things have been taken away physically but yes uh, on a more serious note mentally also okay it does take away uh, mm, uh, certain parts of you and it gives you some other parts when i saw you outside um, okay the thing is with the podcast i have to really gauge my guest oh. a lot before starting okay. so that i can know how to navigate oh, okay. you had one of the most piercing uh, gazes like uh, in terms of you you were just like it was it was a very strong gaze that's what i'll say and really? uh, yeah and i had a lot of i knew exactly how the podcast is going to go and it it was going to be positive that's what i felt okay okay uh, Uh, when i said that you're one of the most positive people i've come across i genuinely mean that yeah but, but you know i have my moments and days of where i feel that gosh uh is it even worth it i mean why are we even doing this but uh yeah i i definitely go through those periods there's no doubt, no two ways about it uh, the trick is to not stay in it for too long because the moment you stay there and then it's a rabbit hole and you know you just go down that and uh, it's very difficult to climb out of it so the idea is to catch it quickly and you know kind of uh, pull yourself out and it's not easy it's definitely not easy i mean it's very easy to sit here and say it that Oh, pull it out! Do this more. It's not easy. I'm feeling really bad. I made you cry. Oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> no, please. Um, I'm actually very embarrassed about no, it. No, no, no. You know, it's like, come on. No, but, you, yeah. You don't know. Just, you don't know how much strength you're giving to like so many people out there. There are. I'm not intending of... to, but if you can get strength out of it, great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. If you want to learn more about this topic, we've curated a playlist just for you and here's a link to the whole episode.